Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Penina the Grace and you are in the home of Grace. In this channel, I share my life stories. So kindly don't forget to like, comment and share. Before we start with today's video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for the love, for the support. You people are so amazing and may God Almighty bless you for me. So guys, I'm super excited. Like I want to share with you guys about things, share with you guys things that affects ladies and girls that nobody or no one talks about it. Guys, we've been, we've been talking about don't do this, don't and don't, right? But right now, we are, some of us are in a situation whereby we are finding ourselves that we have done all these things that we've been saying like we should not do. So we are confused. Some of us are confused. Are, we are like, how can we get out of this? And that is where now uh, you'll find somebody like these people, okay? People are confused because they don't know what they can do to get out of the situation that they are going through. And some, uh, this leads to, to, to suicidals. So some people will just say like, ah, I'm done because I can't see like, I'm, I, I can't take this anymore. So the best thing that I can do now is to, 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 to end to end up my life so that I will go and rest and all this pain or all these uh, things that are bothering me will go to an end. So guys, uh, uh, those are the things that we will be talking and will be, there are those sensitive uh, topics that we will be talking about and I believe like when we talk about them, we will find solution, we will help more people outside there, we will help us as we continue to work in this journey uh, because it is not that easy but we, it is something that we have found ourselves in but I pray that any, ma any mother that is doing this for their children that the generation, let the generation that we are in, us, us as mothers that have sacrificed to come and or to come and work or change uh, to 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 make sure like okay to change our destinies and also to support our children that all this suffering will end with us from our us now to to on forth uh, our children they will never go through what we are going through so it's some kind of something that we call it like sacrifice so let it end with us here okay so in today's video i want to talk about rudeness like uh uh, I don't know if you discovered like the way you came back from home and the way you are going or the way you are continuing with your job, you find like there are some things like you are not used to, okay, you are not doing them before, but right now you find yourself that you are doing them. And what can be the problem? Uh, I want to tell you, girl, like, uh, the problem is, uh, remember, uh, the way you were brought up, especially as Africans, the way we are brought up is different with other people. Uh, every country or every uh, nationality, they have all their own culture. They have their own culture. So when you are leaving your country and coming to another country, I believe you are going to adapt some of the things that they are doing, okay, their culture. Okay, you will adapt the way they speak. You will adapt the way they behave. You know, they will adapt. You will adapt the way they dress. Yeah. So you will adapt everything because now these are the people that you are staying with. I want you to know that. So about the rudeness, because everybody is just saying like girls that are working in Gulf are not good at all. They are very rude. They are very rough, uh, which I can agree with them uh, that we are rude. But it is because of, um, should I say because people that we are working for are rude as well. So it is something that we are adapting. You know, uh, something like um, something like respect is what you give is what you get. get. So if you give me that respect or the way you talk to me, that is the way I will talk back to you. So if you yell, like you keep on yelling and yelling to me, I'll be scared at first. I will be scared at first and after quite some time after I adapt that yelling of yours, I will also start yelling because this is how now I will find myself now. My body will be reacting, will get used to, it will tell me like, this is how we should talk because I'm used to now. That fear is gone, so I'm used to it. So I will find I myself also yelling and shouting. Okay, let, it, let us take it this way. Now, uh, in this country, kids, normally call people with sort of names they can call you with sort of names and not only even kids uh, even their parents uh, they, 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 they somebody can just come and and, and call you kelp which which means a dog or haiwana which means an animal so in our country we fear we can't call somebody like a dog that you can't and it is something that will be heavy in your mouth too to take it out you will feel like no 
it is wrong. But when you come to this side, I'm telling you, that is their greeting. Huh? Somebody will just wake up in the morning, yeah, I wanna shake. And you will just feel like it is, it, they don't see anything bad in it. So because you, uh, you, you, the way you are brought, you knew like calling somebody an animal is an abusive language, you can't use it. But when you come beside you find like kids are calling you that name, you will be like, ah, what is happening? So as time goes by, you will see ah, it is normal because ah, they will be calling their, okay, their parents will be calling their children with a sort of names. And these children will also be calling their parents with these sort of names. So what of you are just a house help? So you too, you will be falling in the same trap because now it is like a rhythm of language. This is what is being done here, actually. So you will be like, you throw, they throw. You say, they say. So you will find out like that is how you find yourself like you are rude. You are rude because the way these people talk, I think also what makes it, uh, uh, what contributes, it's because how the, the Arabic goes. It's some kind of, uh, the way some Arabic is a language, like I believe that when they speak, they are, I don't know if they are using force. Is it force? <laughs> Comment in the comment section below. Why are they talking this way? I still fail to understand. So sometimes they have good intentions. They don't have bad intention at all. But because the words that, the way they pronounce those words or the way the language is being spoken, maybe it is the cause of this thing that you feel like it's a rudeness. Though maybe it is not what people think. So sometimes you will get used uh, to people, or oh, okay, when they talk to you roughly, you will find yourself, you two talking, roughly to let to them uh, like um let me use an example uh i i there was a time i went to to work to i we went to visit uh my boss uh daughter and my boss daughter uh, has a, a house help which is coming from another country let me not mention so that people will not say that it's a hit so um this lady uh I think she has been through a lot. She has been through a lot in that house, like the way she has been talked to, and she has actually adapted that nature, that nature. Even when she speaks, you will just feel this anger, this anger. You see, you, what I'm trying to tell you, the anger in her, she doesn't hide it anymore. She will speak to anybody, anyhow, she doesn't care. When you call her and tell her, Okay, yeah, 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 hello, Tali Shufi. Okay, yeah, she will speak the way she will respond, will be like, hmm. And also, their boss, her boss is now has taken it like it's just normal. You will just see like everything is normal here. But me, the way I've been brought up, and the way uh, uh, I can say, First, guys, if you can watch my previous videos, I used not to talk a lot. I was this person that I was so polite. I had like some few words in my mouth. I was not able to talk a lot. But right now, I can say like, guys, I can speak for the whole Africa. I can speak for the whole Africa. I believe I, staying with these people, I've brought that in me. What was in me, that confident, how to speak, to express myself. So it depends how it will, uh, this... Um, uh, this uh, okay, these people can impact with your life. So at that girl's life, I think this thing has affected her like <laughs> negatively. But me on my side, I can say, guys, these people, uh, this language has affected me positively. And that's why I can sit here and face camera and speak to you, which I was not. I was not. I could never. I was this person that I was shy, very shy. But right now, I'm telling you the confidence that I have. <laughs> you <laughs> anyway, so guys, I can tell you like these girls that are working in Gulf, it is not like they are rude or rough, but you can say whatever you say, but it is because of what they have adapted. It is because of what they have been through, and that is what they are giving. What they have been con consuming is what they are be they are giving. So, guys, I believe like with the time they when they go back home again to adapt that it will take time but please 
if you have anybody that works in Gulf and you find them, but the way they are speaking to you is somehow now, nowadays is not like it's not good. Just forgive, bear with her. Just bear with her, with them. Bear with them because it is what they've been, the way they 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 they, they have been, or what they've been through, uh, the way they've been talked to. And that is what now it is it, it is become now part of them, part of their lives. And but it is just normal. If you will get used to them, you'll just find it as well. It is normal. So guys, uh, that is what I wanted to talk to you about uh, about the uh, the rudeness or uh, what people uh, what girls or ladies are going through in Saudi Arabia that nobody or in Gulf that no one has ever talked to. So I believe uh, I've spoken, and if you have anything to talk about it, you can also comment in the comment section below. Uh, let us see uh, if what I'm saying is true or anything else. Let us know in the comment section below. I hope you like this video. Just stay tuned and see you in my next video. Bye.